Good morning, brothers and sisters. We will now pray the Holy Rosary. Please kneel. O sacred feast, in which you partake of Christ, his sufferings are remembered. Our minds are filled with his grace, and we receive the pledge of the glory which is to be ours. You gave them bread from heaven to be their food. And this bread contained all goodness. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you gave us the Eucharist as the memorial of your suffering and death. May our worship of the sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation you won for us. In the peace of the kingdom, where you live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Queen of heaven, rejoice. Alleluia. For he who did with merit to bear. Alleluia. Has risen as he said. Alleluia. Pray for us to God, Alleluia. Rejoice and be glad, O Virgin Mary, Alleluia. For the Lord is truly risen, Alleluia. Let us pray. O God, who gave joy to the world through the resurrection of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, grant we beseech you that through the intercession of the Virgin Mary, his mother, we may obtain the joy of everlasting life. Through the same Christ, our Lord, Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Sorrowful Mysteries The first mystery, the agony in the garden. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour for death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour for death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Scourging at the Pillar Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Glory, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Crowning with Thorns Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour for death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour for death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Carrying of the Cross Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Glory, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The crucifixion and death of our Lord Jesus Christ. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, 
and blessed is the fruit of her womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Hail, Holy Queen. Mother of mercy, hail our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To you do we cry, for banished children of Eve. To you do we send up our sighs. Mourning and weeping in this valley of tears, turn then, most gracious Advocate, your eyes of mercy towards us. And after this our exile, show unto us a blessed fruit of her womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Queen of the Holy Rosary of Manawag, pray for us. That we will be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by His life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life. Grant, we beseech you, that meditating upon these mysteries of the Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promised through Christ our Lord. Amen. Behold the faithful and prudent steward, whom the Lord has set over his household. The Lord has shown him his love and covered him with glory. He has clothed him with splendid garment. Let us pray. Father, you entrusted our Savior to the care of St. Joseph. By the help of his prayers, may your church continue to serve our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Jubilee Prayer for the Golden Anniversary of the Dominican Province of the Philippines. O God, our Father and Creator, in whom we live and move and have our being, we praise you. As we gather in gentle grace and gratitude on this jubilee of the Dominican province of the Philippines, O God the Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, we preach you as the way, the truth, and the life, whose name we proclaim, whose love we strive to incarnate. O God the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide, we bless you and seek the outpouring of your presence in the witness of our words and works in the consecration of our lives to the holy preaching. In speaking only to you and about you, let our celebration be filled with fidelity to our mission, with hope for your promise, and with true charity binding us all in the gospel we share to all peoples. By your will, O God, in your name, O Lord. Amen. Our Lady of the Holy Rosary, pray for us. Our Holy Father, St. Dominic, Pray for us. Please be seated for a while. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Today is Friday of the seventh week of Easter. We will now have the morning prayer of the Church integrated with the celebration of the Holy Mass. We invite you to please actively participate in our prayers. Please stand.
Lord, open my lips and my mouth shall declare your praise. praise. Come, let us adore Christ the Lord, who promised to send the Holy Spirit on his people. Alleluia. Come, let us adore Christ the Lord, who promised to send the Holy Spirit on his people. Alleluia. Come, let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving and sing joyful songs to the Lord. Come, let us adore Christ the Lord, who promised to send the Holy Spirit on his people. Alleluia. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea it belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Come, Come let us adore Christ the Lord, who promised to send the Holy Spirit on his people. Alleluia. Come then, let us bow down in worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God and we are his people the flock his shepherds. Come, let us adore Christ the Lord, who promised to send the Holy Spirit on his people. Alleluia. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn, as your fathers did in the wilderness. When at Meribah and Massa, they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Come, let us adore Christ the Lord, who promised to send the Holy Spirit on his people. Alleluia. Forty years entered that generation. I said, They are people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, They shall not enter into my rest. Come, let us adore Christ the Lord, who promised to send the Holy Spirit on his people. Alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us adore Christ the Lord, who promised to send the Holy Spirit to His people. Alleluia. Lord, wash away my guilt. Alleluia. Have mercy on me, God, in your kindness. In your compassion, blot out my offense. O oh, wash me more and more from my guilt, and cleanse me from my sin. My offenses, truly I know them. My sin is always before me. Against you, you alone, have I sinned. What is evil in your sight I have done. That you may be justified when you give sentence, and be without reproach when you judge. O oh, see, in guilt I was born, a sinner was I conceived. Indeed, you love truth in the heart. Then in the secret of my heart, teach me wisdom. O oh, purify me, then I shall be clean. O oh, wash me, I shall be whiter than snow. Make me here rejoicing and gladness, that the bones you have crushed may revive. From my sins turn away your face, and blot out all my guilt. A pure heart create for me, O God. Put a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, nor deprive me of your Holy Spirit. Give me again the joy of your help. With a spirit of fervor sustain me that I may teach transgressors your ways, and sinners may return to you. O oh, rescue me, God, my helper, and my tongue shall ring out your goodness. O oh, Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. For in sacrifice you take no delight, for an offering from me you would refuse. My sacrifice, a contrite spirit, a humbled, contrite heart you will not spurn. In your goodness show favor to Zion, Rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will be pleased with lawful sacrifice, holocaust offered on your altar. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Christ bore our sins in his own body as he hung upon the cross. Alleluia. Let my eyes stream with tears, day and night without rest over the great destruction with which overwhelms the virgin daughter of my people, over her incurable wound. If I walk out into the field, look, those slain by the sword. If I enter the city, look, those consumed by hunger. Even the prophet and the priest forage in a land they know not. Have you cast Judah off completely? Is Zion loathsome to you? Why have you struck us a blow? that cannot be healed. We wait for peace to no avail, 
for a time of healing, but terror comes instead. We recognize, O Lord, our wickedness, the guilt of our fathers, that we have sinned against you. For your name's sake, spurn us not, disgrace not the throne of your glory. Remember your covenant with us, and break it not. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come into the Lord's presence, singing for joy. Alleluia. Cry out with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before Him, singing for joy. Know that He, the Lord, is God. He made us, we belong to Him. We are His people, the sheep of His flock. Go within His gates, giving thanks. Enter His courts with songs of praise. Give thanks to Him and bless His name. Indeed, how good is the Lord! Eternal is merciful love. He is faithful from age to age. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. O God, who by the glorification of your Christ and the light of the Holy Spirit have unlocked for us the gates of eternity, grant, we pray, that partaking of so great a gift, our devotion may grow deeper and our faith be strengthened. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. King Agrippa and Bernice arrived in Caesarea on a visit to Festus. Since they spent several days there, Festus referred Paul's case to the king, saying, There is a man here left in custody by Felix. When I was in Jerusalem, the chief priests and the elders of the Jews brought charges against him and demanded his condemnation. I answered them that it was not Roman practice to hand over an accused person before he has faced his accusers and had the opportunity to defend himself against their charge. So when they came together here, I made no delay. The next day, I took my seat on the tribunal and ordered the man to be brought in. His accusers stood around him, but did not charge him with any of the crimes I suspected. Instead, they had some issues with him about their own religion and about a certain Jesus who had died, but who Paul claimed was a lion. Since I was at a loss how to investigate this controversy, I asked if he were willing to go to Jerusalem and there stand trial on these charges. And when Paul appealed that he be held in custody for the emperor's decision, I ordered him held until I could send him to Caesar. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord has established His throne in heaven. The Lord has established His throne in heaven. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all my being, bless His holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all His benefits. The Lord has established His throne in heaven. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so surpassing is His kindness toward those who fear Him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has He put our transgressions from us. The Lord has established His throne in heaven. The Lord has established His throne in heaven, and His kingdom rules over all. Bless the Lord, all you His angels, you mighty in strength, who do His bidding. The Lord has established His throne in heaven. Please stand. The 
Holy Spirit will teach you everything and remind you of all I told you. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. After Jesus had revealed himself to his disciples and eaten breakfast with them, he said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these? Simon Peter answered him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Feed my lambs. He then said to Simon Peter a second time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Simon Peter answered him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. He said to him, Tend my sheep. He said to him the third time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter was distressed that he had said to him a third time, Do you love me? And he said to him, Lord, you know everything. You know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Feed my sheep. Amen, amen, I say to you, when you were younger, you used to dress yourself and go where you wanted. But when you grow old, you will stretch out your hands and someone else will dress you and lead you where you do not want to go. He said this signifying by what kind of death he would glorify God. And when he had said this, he said to him, follow me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Be seated for a while. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat and welcome sa Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary. Magandang umaga din sa lahat ang mga nakikinig sa radio at sa nanonood ng live streaming. Meron isang short film sa YouTube. Minsan-minsan nanonood tayo ng YouTube. Meron isang short film entitled, What is That? Directed by Constantine Filavios. It's in Italian, pero meron subtitle. It's a very good video. Short, but very emotional. Kailangan panoorin ninyo. Title, What is That? Kaya parang ibang title niya minsan niya at entry niya ay Sparrow. Anyway, yung, the whole video captures the scene. Sa eksena kung saan binibisita ng kanyang anak, mature na yung anak na lalaki, yung kanyang tatay in a nursing home. So nasa park bench sila, nakaupo yung anak, nagbabasa ng dyaryo, yung tatay nakatay, nakaupo lang doon, nakatingin sa, sa malayo. Uh, while this was happening, may dumapo na isang ibon doon sa bird bath. Kasi parang isang uh, parang lababo na may mga buhabuhangin o may, may tubig. No? So dumapo doon yung, ano, yung, yung ibon. Um, so sabi ng tatay, what is that? Ano yan? Sabi ng binaba ng konti yung dyaryo nung anak at sabi niya, a sparrow. Kung dito sa Pilipinas siguro, maya, o kaya pipit, no? A sparrow. So, balik na naman sa dyaryo yung, bata, yung anak. Na, hindi naman tumagal masyado, tinanong, tinanong na naman ng tatay yung kanyang, nagtanong na naman yung tatay, hindi naman nadidirekto talaga sa kanyang anak. But anyway, tinanong niya, what is that? Inulit yung question. Sabi ng anak, medyo nakasimangot na, a sparrow. After some time again, not too long, eh, tinanong na naman tatay, what is that? Medyo na, napiko na yung anak, binaba yung jaro. A sparrow, sabi ko na nga, sparrow eh. Hindi ba naintindihan? Sabi ko, sparrow. Tahimik lang, tumayo yung tatay, umalis. And then po, mamaya, mamaya, bumalik, may dala-dalang libro, apparently a journal, a diary. At doon sa, binigay niya yung diary doon sa anak niya. Nakaturo sa isang part ng diary. Sabi niya, sign mo yan, read it aloud. 
eto yung, eto yung entries na sinulat ng tatay. Sabi niya, Today, my youngest son, who a few days ago turned three, was sitting with me at the park when a sparrow sat in front of us. My son asked 21 times what it was, and I answered all 21 times that it was a sparrow. I hugged him every single time he asked me that question, again and again, without getting mad, feeling affection for my little, innocent little boy. In the sun, feeling guilty, medyo siyempre na guilty at uh, hindi nakasalita for a few, few moments, eh, tumahimik lang yung anak. Eh, after some time ng katahimikan, very solemn na katahimikan, he reached out to his father and hugged him. Na, niyakap niya yung kanyang tatay, kinisa niya, at uh, nag-hug sila for a long time. The father is reassured of his son's love and attention. Just as a son many years before was making sure of his dad's undivided and loving attention. And the sparrow, having accomplished its task, flies up through the branches of the tree into the welcoming sky until it disappeared from sight. End of story. Gita, di ba? Kailangan panoorin nyo para mas makita mas very emotional yung video. Si Jesus and si Peter sa gospel na binasa natin had the same, similar scene, similar situation. Tinanong ni Jesus si Peter, Do you love me? Sagot naman ni Peter, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Diba? Tatlong beses tinanong din ni Jesus si Peter, Do you love me? Lagi naman sinasagot din ni Peter, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Tapos nung, eh, but every time, after every sagot ni Peter, sasagot naman ni Jesus, sabi ni Peter, ni Jesus, I feed my sheep, or tend my lambs, or feed my sheep. So, patatawin natin, bakit, bakit nagtatanong ng ganyan si Jesus kay Peter? Nag-reassure ba siya? Katulad nung tao doon sa yung video na kinuwento ko sa inyo. Nag-reassure ba siya na mahal nga siya talaga ni Peter? Kailangan ba niya yung reassurance na yun? na mahal siya ni Peter or no, kung, o kung sino man. Well, siguro kay Peter, isipin natin, baka nga pwede, no? Maari, na nire-reassure niya yung sarili niya sa pagmamahal ni Peter kasi si Peter, you know, during the, before the crucifixion, during the arrest of Jesus, si Peter denied him three times as well, no? So, pwede na, isipin natin, pwede. Pwede nire-reassure ni Jesus yung kanyang, yung pagmamahal ni Peter sa kanya. Do you love me? Pero kung isipin, na, again, kung isipin naman natin, bakit naman kailangan i-reassure ni Jesus yung pagmamahal ni Peter? Eh, Diyos nga siya, di ba? Son of God. God who is love. No? He has all the love. He doesn't need to be reassured of, of love by anyone, by Peter, much less, but by anyone, really. Hindi siya kailangan ma-reassure. So what, what is important is what happens later. Kung yung sinabi ni, ni, Pete, ni Jesus pagkatapos siyang sagutin ni Peter, ang sagot ni Jesus kay Peter ay, Feed my lambs. Importante yun. Feed my lambs. Tend my sheep. Feed my sheep. Nire-remind ni Jesus si Peter, hindi lang yung pagtat- sa pagtatanong niya, hindi lang yung pagmamahal, kundi gusto may remind ni Jesus si Peter ng kanyang responsibility. Diba? As the head of the apostles, as the rock on whom the church was built, you know, kinakailang nire-remind ni Jesus si Peter na meron kang trabaho. Feed my lambs and tend my sheep. Kailangan mo alagaan itong simbahan na bago nating ni-establish, na bago nating itatag. At iiwanan na niya dahil magbabalik na siya sa, sa father, no? So, kailangan niya ma-remind yung si Peter ng kanyang kailangan gawin. Kailangan dapat tuparin para sa simbahan. Yung kanyang, traba- yung kanyang papel bilang rock of the church. Pero hindi lang naman si Peter yung sinasabihan ni Jesus eh. Di ba? Ngayon, tayong lahat sinasabihan, tinatanong ni Jesus unang-una, 
do you love me? Anong sasagot mo na? Para sasabihin that, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. So, ibabalik din sa atin ng Panginoon, Feed my sheep. Tend my lambs. Ang, pag, ang pagtatanong ni Jesus, hindi, mahal mo ba ako? De, mahalin mo ako. De, alagaan mo ako. Hindi. Eh. Para sa iba. Ganun yung tunay na pagmamahal, di ba? Para sa iba. Feed my lambs. Tend my sheep. Ano yung sinasabi sa atin na kung tayo ang descendants ni Peter, tayo uh, descendants of the apostles, then we need to take care of other people. But we are also sheep. Di ba? Sheep din tayo ng Panginoon, the Good Shepherd. Tayo rin yung sheep. And therefore, we also need to receive. To receive care. To receive tending. To receive guidance. Di ba? So we give care and we receive care. At yun ang gusto ng, gawin na, gawin, gusto ng Diyos, ng Panginoon, na gawin natin. To give and to receive care. Di ba? In short, mag-alagaan tayo. Let's take care of one another. So we ask ourselves a few questions. Do we really care for one another? Or do I care for others only after my own cares have been met? Ako muna, bago iba. Pwede natin tanong, how do we show our love for others? Pera? A new car, fireworks, or a grateful heart, a listening ear, a kind word. A simple gesture of love can speak volumes, can speak volumes. Are we able to appreciate the little gems of beauty that surround us, such as a sparrow, or a maya, or a pipit, or a firefly, or a daughter's birthday card? or a merienda prepared by your son, are we able to appreciate those little, beautiful things that happen in our lives? Are we able to treasure the short, quiet moments we get to spend with our loved ones? Can we, like the son in the video, put down our newspapers, put down our work, our cell phones and gadgets for a little while to give precious, undivided time to those whom we say we love. Kaya ba natin bigyan ng undivided attention? Yung mga sinasabi natin na minamahal natin. Must our days be packed with excitement and grand surprises all the time? Can we simply, can simply being together not be enough? Kailangan ba laging merong bongga na nangyayari? Hindi ba pwedeng magkasama lang? magkatabi lang, nagsishare lang ng merienda, magkasama lang sa, nagsishare lang ng panahon. Can we really pay full attention to those who in our eyes may not have much value or in the eyes of the world may not have much value? Can we pay full attention to the elderly, mga nanay-nanay natin, lolo-lola natin, o sa iba pang mga tao na may edad na, no? Can we pay full attention to them? Make them feel important. Make them feel valid. Or children, nabibigyan ba natin ang tamang importansya, ang mga bata, yung mga handicapped, yung may hirap, yung unemployed, yung mga marurungis sa kalye, nabibigyan ba natin ng tamang importansya? In the face of less lovable people, doon sa mga tao na yun, sa mga taong questionable whether or not we give enough attention to them. Jesus asks us again, like, the, like the, all these unlovable or less lovable people, Jesus is asking us, do you love me? Do you love me? Feed my sheep. Love one another, therefore. Care for one another. Truly care for one another. Let us all stand now. Mindful that we are sent on the same mission as Peter's, we ask God the Father to strengthen our faith. And after each petition, we say, Father, bless your flock. Father, bless your flock.
that the Holy Father and those who exercise authority in the Church may be guided by the Holy Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, bless your flock. That married couples may be sensitive to each other's needs and find true happiness in their lives together. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, bless your flock. That sinners may find hope and encouragement in the Lord's forgiveness of Peter. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, bless your flock. That the sick and those who are in distress may experience the Lord's presence amidst their sufferings and difficulties. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, bless your flock. For our Pope, the College of Bishops, parents, relatives, benefactors, and for all of those for whom we promise to pray, let us pray to the Lord. Father, bless your flock. For vocations and the needs of the province, and for our brothers in ministry at St. John Lateran and St. Albert the Great, let us pray to the Lord. Father, bless your flock. For the intentions of Reverend Father Norberto M. Castillo O.P., who is celebrating his profession anniversary today, let us pray to the Lord. Father, bless your flock. For the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady of the Rosary of Malawag, and for our personal intentions, let us pray to the Lord. Father, bless your flock that our beloved dead may receive light, happiness, and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, bless your flock. Heavenly Father, you sent your Son to save the world through the work of your Church. May we be inspired by the example of Peter to labor for the spread of your kingdom on earth. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, my dear friends, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Look mercifully, O Lord, we pray upon the sacrificial gifts of your people, and that they may become acceptable to you. Let the coming of the Holy Spirit cleanse our consciences through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For the Lord Jesus, the King of glory, conqueror of sin and death, ascended to the highest heavens as the angels gazed in wonder. Mediator between God and man, judge of the world and Lord of hosts, he ascended not to distance himself from our lowly state, but that we, his members, might be confident of following where he, our head and founder, has gone before. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy every land, every people, 
exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Socrates, our Bishop, Fidelis, his auxiliary bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that through the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Let us pray now to our Father in heaven in the words that our Lord himself has taught us. Our Father, who art, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy, thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy, thy will be done, done on earth as it, as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, bread and, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the, the sins, sins of the world, have, have mercy, mercy on us. Lamb of, Lamb of God, God you take, take away the sins of the world, world. have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. This is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to this banquet. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But I only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Jesus Christ died and is risen from the dead. Now he lives forever at the right hand of the Father, where he intercedes for us. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. 
You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare His way, to give His people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, and, and to the, the Son, and, the and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Jesus died, and is, died and is risen, risen from the dead. dead. Now he lives forever at the right hand of the Father, where he intercedes for us. Alleluia. Let us pray. O God, by whose mysteries we are cleansed and nourished, Grant, we pray, that this banquet which you give us may bring everlasting life through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us turn to Mary, help of Christians, for the increase of priestly vocations in the church in Linge and the Gupan. After each petition, we say, Grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. Grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. You accompanied your son on his way to Calvary. Walk with our seminarians in their journey of priestly formation. Mary, help of Christians. Grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. You are the mother of the Good Shepherd. Inspire our youth to follow the voice of your son and courageously answer his call to be shepherds. Mary, help of Christians. Grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. You were with the apostles in prayer on Pentecost Day. Stay with us in prayer so that the fire of the Spirit may descend on our young men seeking their vocation in life. Mary, help of Christians. Grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. Your son entrusted to you the beloved disciple at the foot of the cross. Take into your immaculate heart our young men who are reluctant to answer the call to be priests. Mary, help of Christians. Grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. Mary, help of Christians, replace all our young men under your motherly protection. Inspire them to, to serve the church as priests of your son. Take under your motherly care our seminarians being formed for the priesthood. Accompany with your help your priest sons as they follow your son who is Lord forever and ever. Amen. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat sa pakikisa sa Santa Misa. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you. Tayo na po. May Almighty God bless you all. The Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass ascended, we go, we go in the love and the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. You shall now bless the sick and your religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made the heaven and earth. God our Father, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary. May all these articles be blessed and those who use them made holy as they fulfill the will of God according to the example of the Blessed Mother. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.